Invincible Ultimate Collection Volume 1 is by Robert Kirkman. Um, thought I'd talk about it now because the Invincible TV series has come out on Amazon. Um, that is an adaptation of this series. I mean, at present the series I think ends with book 11 of the Ultimate Collection, maybe 12, I'll, I'll check and put it up down below. But it's a big old series. Um, I would say this is probably one of the best ways to read it. You can get compendiums that are great big paperback versions that are a thousand pages long, but they usually fall apart. This is a very well put together hardcover book. Um, you could actually get full omnibus copies that were relatively rare via a Skybound um, web shop, but whenever I saw them they were either overpriced or when they went on sale very cheap, they just sold out immediately, so I stuck with these. Um, follows the story of the main character, Invincible, uh, Mark, who finds out that he's got superpowers and waits for them to come in and enjoys being um, a sort of young superhero. He already knew that his dad was a superhero. Uh, he's an alien like Superman, essentially called Omni-Man, and he's sort of the, the planet's main saviour. There are other heroes and supervillains throughout, um, throughout the world, but Omni-Man's sort of the strongest and the best. Um, he thinks his dad's sort of a benevolent character, and it turns out very quickly in this story, as opposed to the TV series, that he finds out his dad is not the benevolent character he thought he was. Um, there are dark intentions for the Earth, and the way his dad looks at things, such as his mother and you know the world in itself. It's a story that I really like because it moves at a great pace. There's no, that's something Robert Kirkman is very good at. He keeps up the humour level, he keeps up your interest. And he never gets bogged down too much in in your sort of filler material. I never, I always think that he's writing because he's worried he might get cancelled the next day, <laughs> and so he tries to pack in what he can and move the story along so there's never any dull notes. But, but that brevity doesn't translate to poor storytelling. You get the story and it's engrossing, and you rip through this book really quickly. Um, something if you've read his um, Ant Man series for uh, Marvel, which I talked about on this channel. Um, that's worth picking up as well. It's very much the same kind of thing. It keeps bumping along. There's always something to keep you interested. And very rarely, albeit he does it on the very first page of this, which I understand he's starting his comic book out, very rarely does he do the sort of one day earlier thing where you have the action at the start, then it goes back in time and you have to see how they got there. Um, I can't say much more than that because it will ruin the story, but he gets mixed up with a, a teen superhero group, uh, there's loves, there's sort of losses, um, you see how the superhero wor world works in um, in this universe, and uh, I would say if you see it for a cheap price, either digitally or in this Ultimate Edition, um, pick it up. You can obviously get normal trades, I think there's 25 of them, um, if you want to pick them up, but I would say this is the best format for a collector to get at the moment, unless they do bring out those big omnibuses again. Uh, let me know what you think about Invincible. Um, do you like the way that they put the animated series together? I do. They take elements from this book and they sort of mush them about a bit. Um, for instance, the reveal about his dad is a lot slower coming in the TV series as opposed to this. But I understand they want to build tension and probably have a big reveal at the end of the series. Um, but yeah. Check this out, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.